Hey there, welcome back to Wondershare Family Save. There's plenty on the internet that people are better off not seeing, especially when you consider it's a tool children use. Whether you're eliminating explicit content, reducing distraction, or creating better habits, this video has three website blocking methods that work with Chrome. There are multiple ways to block a website on Google Chrome, and you can choose one that fits your intent. Blocking a website on Chrome using extensions is arguably the easiest method since the tool will manage the task for you. This is also suitable for Windows, Linux, and macOS users. We recommend using BlockSite, one of the most popular website blocking extensions with over 3 million downloads. Type BlockSite on the search bar and click on the right result. Afterward, click the Add to Chrome button on the top right and wait for the extensions to finish download. Once the download is complete, BlockSite will be added to your list of Chrome extensions. It is also possible to add a website URL to your blog list by accessing the BlockSite dashboard. Simply choose more options on the BlockSite extension and click Options. On the Block Sites tab, you can block websites by entering the URLs in the available field. The free version of Block Site allows you to have three different websites on your blog list. If you want to get unlimited blogs and access to more advanced features like password protection and a custom blog page, consider using its premium plan, which starts at $3.99 per month. Safe Search is a built-in feature in Google that allows you to filter out explicit content from search results, and it's free. It is especially useful if you want to maintain a clean, safe, and family-friendly browsing environment without installing additional software. Here are the steps to enable Safe Search across your Chrome browsers from mobile phone. First, download or open Google on your mobile device. The easiest way I found is to download or open the Google app on your phone. Second, tap on your Google profile picture in the top right corner of your Google app homepage. You will see your profile photo and then you click on it. Third, go to settings, scroll down the menu and tap on settings. Fourth, select Safe Search. Scroll until you see Safe Search in your settings. For me, it was the second option, tap on it. Turn on Safe Search, and here you will see the Safe Search filter option. Toggle it on to enable it. Safe Search isn't perfect. Some explicit content might slip through, especially if it is not labeled correctly on the web. It also only applies to search results. That means you can still navigate to adult content by inputting the URL directly. I recommend using Safe Search alongside a third-party app that can filter out inappropriate adult content in real time and block a specific URLs. Famisafe stood out as the best because of how comprehensive it is across devices, locations, and browsers. Famisafe is a parental control app and porn blocker that works across every device in your household and is effective at blocking content on Google Chrome and other browsers. It is very easy to install and use. Here are the steps to block adult content on my Google Chrome browser with Famisafe. Install the Famisafe for Kids app. It works also for adults. Simply download this app to the device you want to protect. Then navigate to the features on the main menu and then proceed to web filter and then to exceptions. Click the plus add an exception button to open a new window where you can specify the site to block. Now enter the URL of the website and click on the save button. I will drop the link in the description down below for you to download. The internet is a great source of knowledge and entertainment for kids, but it possesses significant risks at the same time. As parents, it is our responsibility to ensure that our children's online activities are healthy and safe. However, with the easy availability of smartphones, laptops, and other internet devices, it is almost impossible to monitor every activity of your kid. That's where web filtering or website blocking solutions come into the picture. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please like and follow our channel and don't forget to leave a comment down below. 
See you the next time. Bye-bye.